Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my show. You know what it is, it's Juicing with Jade. This is where I show you how to incorporate freshly squeezed juice and even clean foods into your daily meal planning lifestyle. It doesn't matter what diet type you're on, I have something special for you. So what I have for you today is sea moss with the extra added twist. I'm adding baby Thai coconut just to give it an extra little delicious taste and flair. So what exactly is sea moss? Sea moss is an ocean plant. It's an ocean plant that does not have any leaves, flowers, or roots. It's like an algae. And studies have shown that sea moss contains 92 of the 102 essential minerals that the body needs. So this attribute alone makes sea moss one of the top ranking survival foods. It is extremely essential. You think you know essential workers? Mm -mm. Sea moss is the essential worker. And another great quality about sea moss is its versatility. So once you soak it and blend it into a gel, you can use it to create some delicious smoothies, desserts, soups, puddings, yogurts. You can leave it plain and add it to your face or to your skin to remove any blemishes or to remove any stretch marks or scars that you might have. Um, and also adding sea moss to your diet is an excellent way to increase your energy. It improves your mental and emotional mood. It suppresses your appetite, which is gonna help with your weight loss goals. Um, it also decreases joint pain and decreases gut inflammation. And not only that, it can reverse malnutrition. That's why it was used in the past as a survival food. Um, and, and, and not only that, it has many properties to help with your skin elasticity and stimulate your hair growth as well. So not only is it good for all those things I just mentioned, and men will probably like the fact that sea moss is great for, for male stamina, and women will also like the fact that it's good for female reproductive systems. So you definitely wanna incorporate in, this into your diet and your meal plan as often as you can by just at least taking a tablespoon a day or even two tablespoons and either mixing it into your smoothies or adding it to some milk or however you like to make it just so that you're getting all these 92 essential minerals into your into your body so the sea moss after it is expanded and you've soaked it it usually keeps in the refrigerator for about two weeks um, but as long as it, it stays it, it's dry and you haven't soaked it yet you it, it's it's dry you can keep it even for like a month or so in the a couple months in the fridge with no problem so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this ready I'm gonna put it into my little container here for my Nutribullet and I'm gonna blend it till it's smooth so as you see it's kind of long but it's okay I don't really need to cut it because my Nutribullet will blend it up really good for me and then I'm gonna put my coconut water so right now I have about a half a cup of coconut water and if I need more water, I'll just add some regular water to it. Some distilled water will be fine. That's how thick the sea moss is. And it's, it's, it's gelatinous, it's creamy. So now I wanna share with you a little bit about the added twist of the baby Thai coconut. Yes, it is baby Thai coconut time. So when you're choosing your uh, Thai coconut, your baby coconut or young coconut, you wanna make sure that there's no discolorations. It should look pretty whitish in the, the skin or the husk that's surrounding it. So that's one way. And then you also wanna take it in. <laughs> you wanna take it and give it a shake, shake, shake. So you shouldn't hear anything, but it should have some weight to it, just the weight from the coconut water that's on the inside. And also, you want to make sure that when you open it, that there's no discoloration to the coconut water that's in there or to the flesh that's inside the coconut. It shouldn't be pink or purple or lavender or anything like that. If it is, that means that it's going bad and you probably should not eat it. So the flesh should be pretty white of the coconut meat and the coconut water sometimes will have a slight clear to slight um tint like yellow almost tint but not dark yellow but when i open this i'll show you so hopefully this is a good coconut from the outside it looks good but i've already taken all the covering and the wrap off of it but we're going to focus on the benefits of fresh coconut and what it can do for us of nutrients vitamins and minerals it will definitely hydrate you it will balance out your blood sugar if you're diabetic 
Um, it decreases cholesterol, so it's excellent for heart health. It has high levels of manganese in it, which will help with your muscles and your bones. It is just a fabulous food source. It's very satisfying. Um, it strengthens your hair. It's good for your skin. It gives you a very nice glow. Unfortunately, we don't eat a lot of coconut, but I think we should definitely start incorporating that. That's why I wanted to make this particular uh, special sea moss with a coconut twist. I think it's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait till it's made so I can try it and see how it is. So right now, I have my fresh coconut here, and what I wanna do is get it blended. I wanna try to make it as smooth as possible. So that's a good thing about the baby coconut or the young Thai coconuts. The flesh is very tender, it's very creamy, and it's pretty much easy to blend. So it kind of makes you, get gets you in the idea of a yogurt. And you can even make coconut yogurt out of the, out of the Thai baby uh, coconuts. All of this top part of the husk off with my knife and inside you'll see underneath this husk there's three membranes and you want to try to get the membrane with the larger side and you're just gonna hack it with your knife and pop it up and get the liquid out of it so where should we look here we go so I'm just gonna go probably about an inch up from this uh, base here and I'm just gonna just kind of cut. And y'all, I'm sorry. I don't even know if I can show y'all this because it's gonna be a little messy. When you take the husk off, the coconut has um, these membranes. You see there's one, two, three. Three lines on it or three veins. Their two sides are about a quarter, one fourth in diameter or one fourth in size, they're pretty equal. And then the bigger side is about like the half the size of this whole circle, the whole top of the coconut. So I just wanna peel a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna go to the side of the coconut that's the bigger side. And what I'm gonna do, there's like a little, there's a tender spot in there so I think I'm going to just take this, this part of my knife and see that? See how that popped? I took the butt part, the bottom part of the knife and I hit it right there and there's like a little crack there. But I have to be careful because I don't want to spill my coconut juice. Now what I can do is uh, continue to try to pop that up. Maybe I'll sit it upright don't ever put your knife towards you. Turn the sharp part away from you. You see, that's opening up a little bit more. You know it. I'm trying to open it gingerly. That did pop open. So as you see, I was able to get that and I just have to get a little spoon because there's coconut flesh there was, and it's nice and white with a hint of creaminess to it. So I'm just gonna get a spoon. I don't have one of those really cool um, coconut spoons that you can use to get the, the flesh out. I don't have one of those. But that's okay. You don't necessarily need it. Now you do want to get some of this brown, extra brown skin off. And I'm also going to rinse off the flesh of the coconut. I'm going to rinse the flesh off. I'm going to put it in my bowl. I have a little bowl here with a strainer. Now here's the tricky part. Trying to pour this coconut water into your bowl. I've seen people do it many ways and no matter which way they do it, you always make a mess. And I think I'm gonna try a piece of this because it smells good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love all things tropical. I got all of the um, water out of there. That is very creamy. And matter of fact, where's my spoon? I just want to show you the consistency of it. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit more coconut water because what's going to happen is when I add the sea moss to it, it's going to thicken. So I'm going to add a little bit more coconut water to thin that out. 
And I think I'm going to see, I'm going to put all of my flavoring in the coconut, um, in the coconut base. So I'm going to just use about a tablespoon of, of raw honey. That's a little sticky. I mean, a teaspoon of raw honey. And about a dash of vanilla. Just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. A dash of cinnamon. This is just going to make it pop. One little squirt of lime. Just a thin lime. And... I'm going to do one shake of salt and then I'm just going to blend all this together again. Put that back on there and then put it up back on my Nutribullet. You see it, it is a little thinner. I just want to try it. Mmm, that is so good. Okay. I have my sea moss here. I'm just going to get the top open and then I'll show you how thick it is again. And as you can see, the sea moss is blended. It is pretty thick and very gelatinous. So I like the consistency of how it looks so far. And what I'm going to do is add the blended baby Thai coconut to it to complete the coconut sea moss gel mixture. I got a little bit more here that I just want to scrape into there. Get it all mixed together. Okay, so this looks like a milkshake. It really, really does. So let me just get this open. And let's check our consistency. You know what? As this sits, is going to gel up even more. So that's gonna be so delicious and it's still a great base for a wonderful smoothie. I wanna try it. Mmm, mmm, that is so good. This coconut sea moss gel can be refrigerated for up to 10 days and maintain its freshness. You can eat it just like this or you can add berries, bananas, cocoa powder, nut butters, or anything you like to make it a delicious dessert, snack, or smoothie.